So I know what you're saying. How the hell is my life, my reality going to change uh, just by changing my thoughts? That's what I did. That's what I said at first. And you're not going to believe me until you do it for yourself, until you experience it for yourself. I don't know how it happens. I don't know. I don't fucking know how it happens. But your mind is a mechanism that literally bends light and matter into whatever the mind... <laughs> Until whatever the mind is perceiving, like whatever the mood you're in, that's how your mind is going to bend that light and matter. Like I said, man, this is physic, uh, physics. This ain't philosophy or psychology. This is physics. And Okay, and you say, so you say, okay, Ray, so tell me how. How, how am I going to experience this change for myself? Well, you have to you have to think about how it got programmed in the first place. As you were growing up, uh, you repeated everything around you, especially as a baby. My son, he does every single thing that I do. And it was the repetition of information that programmed it in the first place. It was repeating the information over and over and over and over again how, how, uh, how your paradigm was formed. You just repeat the information over and over again. You saw it countless times as you grew up. So it's the repetition of information that programs your subconscious mind. You have to repeat to yourself whatever it is that you want to change. Because you see, you don't fight the old system. You don't get rid of the old system by fighting it. You get rid of the old system by putting a new one in place. <clears throat> you get rid of the old system by applying a new one. By reprogramming, you're not ever going to stop. You're not going to, you don't get rid of beliefs. You don't get rid of those programs. You replace them. You have to replace the programs in your subconscious mind. That's how you do it. You have to build the vision of the life that you want to live. And then you got to impress it upon your subconscious mind. And you do that through the repetition of information. You just keep flashing. You just keep flashing that picture, that vision of the life you want to live. You just keep flashing it on the screen of your mind. Just keep flashing it. Keep flashing it. You're going to have to do it like a thousand times a day for 90 days straight. And watch how your life will fucking change. Man, I'm not fucking playing here. I've done this. I do this. <laughs> man, I'm just trying to spread the knowledge now, man. It's, it's, I've been quiet for too long about this. I have to spread this around now because it's fucking amazing. Man, it's... <laughs> I probably sound crazy. I know I sound crazy. <laughs> hey, I've been studying the mind for 15 fucking years, man. I've been studying my own consciousness for 15 years. <clears throat> I've been I've been analyzing myself. I've been I've been analyzing uh, uh, my own mind, my own thoughts, where they come from, why I have them, how they make me feel. <clears throat> so so I know a thing or two about this, man. Now most people had no idea. Most people have no idea. That I was into this shit. But when you repeat. Uh, you repeat. Uh, information to yourself. You have to find an affirmation that works for you. And you have to find one. That's. that's that'll work with you. You can't. You can't. 
Now, in building your vision, you can't go too far out. Or, or you're not going to believe it. Or you're not going to get yourself to believe it. Uh, <clears throat> you got to you gotta get there step by step. You got to get there little by little. So don't go too far out. My problem for the first few years is I, I went way too far out. And I just couldn't get the grip of it. I couldn't get myself to actually believe it. Because it was too far out. Way too far out. So I started breaking it down. And, and, and incremental steps little by little and then I started getting further and further uh, when you're, whenever you try to manifest a vision you can't be fucking selfish about it you can't there's a weird thing that happens where you have to connect the circuit there's a weird thing that happens where you gotta connect the circuit of energy Every uh, whatever you uh, manifest has to be for the greater good of everybody not just yourself can't be fucking selfish trying to manifest a fucking beautiful life for yourself and, and, and fucking people over in the process. It's not going to work. Uh, but affirmations really work. They work. <clears throat> uh, uh, Joseph Murphy explains that circuit connection very, very well in the book, uh, The Power of the Subconscious Mind. He explains it perfectly. Uh, <clears throat> so it's the repetition of information You have to repeat to yourself Now just imagine the shit you've been repeating to yourself Unconsciously throughout your whole life Oh this is not going to work uh, It's too expensive Never going to be able to pay for it uh, I, I can never find the right person Now let me put something in here real, real quick Now you can be, uh, Build a beautiful life for yourself By deceiving people And, 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 and stealing and lying uh, using these laws because it's the same laws you use they're using it the same way but it's not gonna last long they're not gonna have that life for very long well what what is the point of having so much fucking money but you can't sleep at night because you're afraid that the police is gonna kick your door in that's not peace the true uh, the true uh, sign of success of real success is 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 peace of mind without peace of mind you do not have success i don't care how much money you make i don't care how much shit you do if you're fucking people over in the process just know it's not gonna last very long it might last a while but you will pay for it now let's say that that your vibration is an x type of vibration I'm only using two letters here, X and Y. Uh, the programming that you have in your subconscious mind is what makes your body vibrate in that frequency, in whatever frequency you're on. And that's called an X-type frequency or an X-type thought, which is thoughts that you think about on a regular basis uh, within your, your own frequency. And the results that you want Anything, anything that goes outside of of your comfort zone is a is a Y type idea. So if you make fifty thousand a year, that's an X type conditioning. So you have X type thoughts. When you want to make a hundred thousand a year, that's a Y type idea or a Y type thought. In order for you to produce the Y type result. You have to change from X type conditioning into Y type conditioning. And, and it's fine. Once you can think about the, 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 the image, you can flash the image on the screen of your mind of that better life, of, and, and, and you, uh, which is way outside of your comfort zone. And you can think about it all day long. Nothing's gonna happen. The moment that you get emotionally involved with the Y type idea, that's when all hell starts to break loose. That's when you hit that terror barrier. That's when you, that's when you, uh, uh, your central nervous system starts fucking going haywire. Once you get emotionally involved with that idea, you start getting scared. You start thinking of, you start doubting yourself. You start to pull back. 
And if you keep doing this, if you keep impressing your subconscious mind uh, with that white type idea, eventually it will change. But it's gonna get fucking scary. It's gonna, like I said before, it gets, it's gonna get to the point where you're damn good and scared. And you know for a fact that you're gonna fail if you keep going. But I need you to understand that that's just a terror barrier. And if you keep going, you will get through it. You will get through it. I promise you. I promise you. I guarantee you. You will you will get through it. As long as you keep impressing that white type idea into your subconscious mind through the repetition of information. Through the repetition of information. But you have to change the vibration of your of your subconscious mind in order for your life to reflect. Once you start getting serious about this change, once you get really emotionally involved with it your old self is going to fight back your old your ex type conditioning will fight back and it will fight for its fucking life because that's literally what's happening you're killing it you're getting rid of it and it does not want to die your old, your old self does not want to die it's going to fight like hell I want you to know that so you better put up a fucking good ass fight or it will take over again it's happened to me many times where my old self takes over again. It doesn't happen anymore because now I, I really got the conditioning permanent. Uh, but all kinds of shit will happen, man. All kinds of shit will happen. You'll get fucking sick right before you had to... Man, you'll fucking, your car will fucking break down. You'll fucking... Man, all kinds of shit. All kinds of shit will happen to you. Right before you make that change. Whenever you get on a, in, a, in an airplane and they tell you to strap on your seatbelt right before let or right before liftoff, because things are gonna get turbulent. There's gonna be some turbulence. Why? Uh, because uh, you will experience turbulence before you reach a comfortable altitude. Shout out to Les Brown. Murphy's Law, man. Murphy's Law states that anything that can, anything that will can, oh, fuck. Anything that can go wrong can and will go wrong. But the universe is testing you at this point. It's testing you to see how bad you fucking want it. It's testing you. That's why it's very, very important for you to choose something that you love to do. Find something that you love to do. Because the moment that things get really fucking hard, or you embarrass the fuck out of yourself, the moment that fucking happens, if you don't absolutely love what you're doing, you will fucking quit. You will fucking quit. And you won't even fucking try it again. That's why you have to Find something that you absolutely love to fucking do. Something that you would do for free all day long because you love to do it. That's why. Because if you don't love what you're doing, you will quit. You will go back into your comfort zone. You will, and, and that, that, that change will not take place. It will not take place. So find something that you love to do. What do you love to do? Ask yourself, what do you love to do? Don't say watching TV. So don't go after something that you think you can do. Something that seems reachable. Something something that you think you'll be good at. No, find something that you fucking love. Something that you that that sets your fucking soul on fire. Find something like that. Don't go after something that's easy, something that's reachable, something that you see everybody else doing. You have to find something that you love to fucking do. That's the most important part because Socrates says, if you find something that you love to do, uh, <clears throat> now if, you, if you find work that you love, you'll never have to work another day in your life again. The conscious mind is a very jealous mind. It's very overprotective of the subconscious mind. 
It stands guard in the gates of your subconscious mind and it makes sure, makes 100% sure, and it does this very well. It makes sure that only the things that it's comfortable with are the things that are going to get past it into the subconscious mind. That's what your that's what your conscious mind does. It it does this literally. It's the protector of your subconscious mind. And now there's many ways into the subconscious mind. But most of those ways uh, require a licensed professional. And and help from somebody else. Uh, but you yourself, the way you can get into your subconscious but you yourself, you can you can uh, tap into your subconscious mind through through meditation and repetition. Uh, whenever you're asleep, your subconscious mind is wide awake. Your subconscious mind is the one that's playing at this point. Uh, whenever you're in the waking state in the physical world, uh, your conscious mind is awake, and your your subconscious mind is asleep. Why well, your subconscious mind never sleeps? never stops <clears throat> in fact it's not even conscious uh, it's more of a mechanism more of more of a machine like a tool uh, your mind is a tool your mind is a tool that you use uh, to get shit done just like my car it's a tool that I use to get shit done so your mind is a tool it's not you you can learn how to use the mind as a tool and through meditation you, you, uh, you make the conscious mind put its walls down, put put its defense down, <clears throat> because you have you have you have separate layers of your consciousness, and you can only you can only uh, learn these layers through through meditation, experience them through meditation. <clears throat> meditation is is vital. Meditation is vital. It's vital for a peaceful, calm state of mind and living a peaceful life. It's vital for reaching the subconscious mind in your waking state. And in your dreams, <clears throat> your dreams, your subconscious mind is the one that's that's active. It's your subconscious mind giving you all kinds of fucking symbols and all kinds of shit. All kinds of uh, uh, signs. If you could remember your dream, it wasn't a dream. It was a message. <clears throat> Man, the subconscious mind goes deep. It goes deep. I'm only I'm only scratching the surface here. But hypnotherapy, man. <clears throat> hypnotherapy. It shows you a whole new different part. A whole a whole other part to, to what we call this life experience. Now, why does your conscious mind do this? Why does it protect you? Why does it protect uh, your subconscious mind? Why doesn't it let new things get in there? Because, because it doesn't want you to get hurt. It doesn't want you to get hurt. It doesn't want you to, to get embarrassed. It doesn't want you to change uh, in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't want you, uh, it doesn't want you exploring new territory. It fears that. <clears throat> it, it tries as hard as it can to keep you away from that stuff. To keep you away from what you're not used to. See, everybody has a different comfort zone. Depending on, on how they live their lives. And that's obvious though. But, <clears throat> but it, it does it to protect you. So you won't get hurt. You're comfortable. You're comfortable exactly where you are. You might not be making as much money. Or, or you might not be working at the job you'd like to work at. But you're comfortable. As soon as you start thinking about getting a better job or getting a promotion. Or starting your own business. And you start... Feeling the emotions of what it would be like to have those things already. You get emotionally involved. 
and then the conscious mind starts to starts to fight back with negative emotion. It starts it, 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 it starts to send you fear, so you'll back away. And your conscious mind and subconscious mind will do that with any program that you give to it. Any program that you put in there, it uh, it execute it effectively. Now you have to start putting in there a program that you want, a program that that that's worth it for you. Because see, I had a program that was put there unconsciously. Anything that you do not consciously reject. You will subconsciously accept. So you have to stand guard. In the gates of your conscious mind. To make sure no bullshit gets in. And your conscious mind stands guard. In, in the gates of your subconscious mind. But it's up. It's your job to guard your conscious mind. It's it's your job to, uh, to make. It's your job to feed your mind only the information that's going to help you get to your vision. Anything and everything else is fucking bullshit and it's a distraction. And I hope you don't have a plan B. Because if you have a plan B, you will use it. You will fall back onto it. Because that's what you're setting up for yourself. You got to go after this like your life depends on it. Because it does. 